Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today I'm going to be covering the command mechanic. Now this one's a... There's not a lot I can cover on this one because it's very straightforward, but I can give some advice when using it. Um, and probably some other small things along with it, as well as some ideas. Now this is going to get you somewhat involved with variables and... Uh, basically triggers and targeters as well. Not a whole lot of depth, but just enough to get you guys started. And if you, uh, if you want to learn more, I actually recommend looking at the those pages on the manual because um, triggers, targeters, and variables are pretty, well, they vary immensely. Like, you're going to have to look at them yourself just to kind of figure out what you want to do because there's so many for me to cover that I just cannot get to them all. And trust me, there's so many combinations, it would take me at least probably a few thousand videos just to cover every and any combination of the three. Now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the commands. I'll show you what I did and hopefully I can inspire you guys just a little bit. So my first one is the, um, it's a heal command. As you can see, I've got a little thing going on here. Uh, basically, what this is, is to run the command, you have to type in the command string, command C equals, um, quotation marks, and this is going to be your command, you don't need to add the uh, dash at all, this, like you would in game, isn't necessary, it'll read it on its own. Now this is what's going to be important, there's a few different things here that you can use, this is called a variable, anything inside these little uh, carrots here that's a variable now all you're really gonna need for if you decide to use the command skill is target dot name which means whatever the mob or whoever the mob is targeting or trigger dot name which means whoever activates it so as you can see I have it set to at trigger which would be the player interacting on interact so when it's interacted with and what it's going to do is it's going to heal me. So let me go ahead and put him here. As you can see, I added nice little particles to him. But if I go ahead and right click him, you can see down here, you have been healed. Now why I think this is pretty important, it's a little bit different than heal itself. Um, like the mechanic itself, because heal as a command will heal your hearts and it will fill your hunger bar rather than just one or the other. Um, I'd recommend adding some sort of cooldown system to it or something of the sort so like um, maybe I were to... let me let me move this guy real quick. He is not moving. Okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a spawner here. Uh, heal, heal, command. Whoops, I forgot capitalization makes a difference. There we go. So basically, let me go ahead and um, do something like this. Now what you can do with this, you can sort of make it into a type of fountain, possibly. And by doing so, um, we're going to add a remove add self on interact. Oh, he is going to burn to death. I totally forgot about that. Whoops. Because he is a zombie. So there we go. Um, yeah, so what you can do is... I'm pretty sure I got it reloaded. I do not have it reloaded, so let me go and reload it. Um, give it a couple minutes. We will fast forward in this part of the video. There we go, and now he's back. And what we're going to do is if we right click him, he heals me and he disappears. I think this could be very useful. Of course, it doesn't have to be a zombie. Um, one thing I found out with uh, newer Mythic Mobs versions is that it cannot be an armor stand. I don't know why, as it usually, on Interact, usually works with armor stands, but as of the latest update, as far as I'm concerned, it just doesn't seem to work anymore. So, that being said, what you can do is if you link back to an old skin tutorial of mine, you can maybe make this some sort of NPC, you know, in your own way. Just give him a custom skin, maybe like a gypsy. Uh, you know, you right-click the gypsy and poof, you get healed and it disappears for a short amount of time. However long you have that spawner set to. Uh, what you can also do is make it to where the um, mob is invisible. 
you can compact the remove add self and the heal into like a meta skill for example and um, well let me go ahead and show you that excuse this Oops. Okay, so here we are. We've got the base skills going on. Uh, all I did was copy and paste it over. I'm just going to add skill s equals heal at self on timer 20. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these. And what'll happen now is, I totally forgot, I need, in order to make this a little bit more complicated to where I won't just do this every single time, uh, one, change this to players in, uh, in radius, um, maybe r equals like 10, no, maybe three. Uh, you can remove the on interact part of this, and conditions, player within uh, D equals 3 I guess since we are going with a heal radius of 3 so if you do it this way it will make it to where if you walk up to it it will heal you and it will remove itself until the next time you are around now we're gonna fast forward again because we gotta wait on the spawner to respawn so let's go ahead and do that okay so there it is and it has it to where it will always use that skill, let me make sure, yes, every second as long as a player is within a three, a distance of three. So if I walk up to it, boom, I got healed, it disappeared. Might be a cool idea for a healing fountain, some sort of totem, maybe a crystal, I don't know, whatever you want to do with it, it's up to you. That's, uh, that's the idea I can give. Now, what we can do as well is you can use this for any command in game. So, uh, I made another one here, whoops, my bad, that command, okay, yes, yeah, so as you can see I made another one, I called it warp command, because what it's going to do, when I right click him, he's going to teleport me over there as if that's my PvP arena, so, warp PvP, boop, look at that, warping to PvP, here I am, just because I right clicked on him. This can be very useful if maybe you have it in like a hub world at your spawn, um, you know, and you have like 10 different uh, mob NPCs, you know, they all lead to different places, so you just go up to them, right click them, and boom, here you are. Um, you can have it lead to a different arena, you can have it lead to a shop, uh, maybe a research place, or I don't know, something that shows information about your server, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. All you have to do is have it run command, warp pvp or whatever warp target name or trigger name doesn't really matter at trigger on interact that's all you need so my last one as you can see this one involves quests if you don't have a quest set up already uh, i'm not going to be covering that because i am doing a mythic mobs tutorial however i am using mythic mobs to give you an example so you're probably thinking, if you have quests, why not just kill the mob itself and just have the quest read it? Well, I have a good answer for you. Say you have some really ginormous boss. This is the boss you're fighting. You're with a couple of friends and, you know, you have to kill it. Well, if you use quests to do it, it will only give the quest to the person who struck the final blow on the boss. However, what I have set up here is to give it to all players within the boss radius of 10, and there are conditions you can set up for it if you decide to make it a meta skill, however, I'm not going to go that in depth, but as you can see, it's going to finish test quest for me when it dies. So let me go ahead and do that, quests, take, test, quest, oops, okay, that's bad, man. Reset mushroom status. Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, it says kill the mob. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill it. And 
boom. See, look at that. There it is. It's done. Uh, my little message, congratulations on beating the boss. I think this is a really, really cool way to do it just for the sake of, like I said, if you do it via quests and the Kill Mythic Mobs objective, um, you know, it'll only finish the quest for the player who lands the uh, final blow on the boss, whereas if you do it this way, you can make it to where players have to hit the boss to end up on a threat table, and if they're on the threat table, it'll complete the quest for it when it dies. I have that uh, whole system set up on my server. I'm not going to go that in detail with it. Uh, you're welcome to play around with it, but the main basis of this video is that you can make whatever command you want happen. All you need to do is command C equals uh, double apostrophes, or not apostrophes, sorry, double quotations on both sides. Um, command and then whatever the command itself is and then however the command tells you to set it up. Say this would be the player name, uh, target or trigger. It will always be a player. Commands cannot be run on mobs, so all you will ever need is target name or trigger name here. Those are all the ideas I have for this one. Sorry this one's kind of uh, probably kind of lackluster when it comes to content. There's not really a whole lot for it because uh, command is a pretty straightforward to uh, pretty straightforward mechanic. So if I helped you guys or inspired you any, please make sure to press the like button and subscribe to my channel because I will be making more every week and I will I know I've been slacking a little bit lately. I am coming up on my midterms so I have not had the time to make more videos. But I will get on it because you guys have been asking me so many things and coming to me a lot for help. So again, if I have inspired you, if you have any questions or anything at all, uh, make sure to press subscribe and uh, you know, feel free to ask me on my Discord, that will be in the description, as well as feel free to comment on the video below just to, uh, you know, if you have any questions I can reply to you quickly. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see what you come up with in the future.